Ibrahim and welcome to my city, Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia and so many different races, religions and cultures. Diversity is the spice of life. So what are you waiting for? Let's hit the road and discover Kuala Lumpur with me. As far as KL is concerned, the opportunity of doing business is very huge. We have very sophisticated capital markets, very stable banking system, a lot of tax incentives. A lot of my friends, foreign investors, are finding it very easy to do business in this city. For convention and exhibition, it must be relevant to complement all the great architecture with the conventional halls, which are second to none in the world. Malaysia is the first country on this earth to have a data network 4G with voice. KL is now exciting. KL is a hub. It has got a state-of-the-art airport. It's well connected to all the uh, beaches and all the tourist travelers' hotspots. I love Kuala Lumpur because Kuala Lumpur is full of cool people. They are spontaneous, they are real people and fantastic. This is a great country with tremendous potential and tremendous future. And I think that's Kuala Lumpur. Yes, one Malaysia. Happy! one of the most modern transportation systems in this region. It has a comprehensive network of buses, taxis, monorails, commuter trains that provide quick and convenient access to all points in the city and its surroundings. It's great! Kuala Lumpur has always been known to be the perfect host for world-class events. The infrastructure that we have makes traveling in and out very easy. Five-star accommodation right down to what backpackers require. So it, it caters for everyone. Kuala Lumpur has got world-class international standard venues like the Day One Philharmonic Petronas. We have the Sepang International Circuit. We have Istana Budaya. And all of these venues are host to really, really good events, which both the domestic and international tourists can enjoy. So we have always been known to be the perfect host and that is made even better by the fact that we have all of these world-class venues. KL is quite interesting. I think a lot of people who come to Kuala Lumpur always say, oh, you've got very interesting buildings. Now the latest buildings around the KLCC, you've got these towers that are coming up that are sort of glass. I like uh, Abdul Samad building. I like the National Mosque. You know, National Mosque is one of the best and oldest examples of just a sort of tropical mosque. You know, there's natural ventilation. You feel it's really on the ground. It's inside, outside spaces. I like in combination with the ground space. For me, the ground placemaking is as important as the building itself. Um, in KL, you've got a variety of shapes and forms, and that's because uh, Malaysians are a little bit more dynamic in terms of how they look at buildings. So it's nice to see things that are a little bit softer, rounder, curves, you know, things like that. Kuala Lumpur is something of a, a hidden paradise for expats. In many places in Asia, it's, it's quite hard to develop uh, relationships and friendships with the local people. But in Malaysia, uh, the Malaysians are very, very welcoming. In addition, fortunately, uh, they speak English. Uh, the country has some excellent hospitals and, and offers first-class medical treatment at very, very affordable prices. Uh, the international schools are of a very, very high standard. In addition, there's a great program uh, which the government introduced a few years ago. Uh, the program offers uh, uh, visa holders a, a 10-year visa to live in Malaysia. In many respects, Kuala Lumpur has, has a lot more to offer than many other cities in the area. I'm here at Museum Negara, the National Museum. KL is a city that preserves its cultural heritage. Now, if you take the heritage trail, you get to see fabulous sites, including the museum, lots of other monuments, you get to see palaces punctuated by the towers, lots of quaint little buildings, shops that have been there for years. Just don't be shy. Knock on a door. You never know what you just might find.
You know, I think one of the things that a lot of people don't know about Malaysia, we have a history of people have coming from all over the world. So we have the traditions from uh, indigenous uh, people of Malaysia. We also have uh, traditions from India, traditions from China. I think this actually is a, it's a good cauldron for making art. Performances happen in all kinds of spaces, uh, such as this one here, the Annex, which is also home to alternative art festivals, book fairs, arts for grab weekends, performances, music, dance. Then there's the National Theatre, of course. There are theatres like the old Pangong Bandaraya. Um, there's also the art gallery at uh, Petronas, Hale Pat. There's a theatre on the top of Lot 10 with a lovely rooftop garden, uh, Sutra Dance house with its beautiful wooden outdoor amphitheatre in a garden. Uh, there's a temple of fine arts in Brickfields, new art space called Maps on the edge of the city. There are indie filmmakers showing their films in KL wherever they can. They are very enterprising and having their films shown in festivals all over the world. And I think this is what makes our work in a way quite different from the work of a lot of other countries. I think that's what makes KL, I think, interesting. For me, this is home. There's no city in the world like Kuala Lumpur, KL. One minute, you could be in the hustle and bustle of it all. Next minute, you could be relaxing, calm and peaceful in one of the very many green parks in the city, such as the KLCC Park. Acres of lush tropical landscape, the 1,900 indigenous plants and trees of more than 74 different species. Seriously? One of my favorite places in KL is the Perdana Botanical Park. People know it as the Lake Gardens. Of course, there's lakes and there's a lot of trees and there's about 100 over 100 species of different tropical trees. There's the Bird Park, which is amazing. I come here every week. And I think people who come here, they know. And it's packed with families. Of course, in KL, within the city, you can ride horses, which is amazing. And you can do abseiling, you can run, do yoga, do tai chi, you can play games. It's, it's an outdoor paradise. It's beautiful. This park is for everyone. You can go for walks and the next hour you can be right in the center of the city with the Twin Towers. Kale weather is good. I think a lot of people would love to retire here. We are conscious. We care about the environment and we treasure it and we live it. Something about Kale that gives them balance, a sense of balance. Hey all, my city. Look at this city. Isn't it beautiful? Every time I show my pictures to my friends, everyone seems to know, oh, KL, KL. And every time if I bring anyone from overseas to here, it was the first thing that they want to do is to just hang around here at different angles, just taking photos of the Twin Tower. So if you love shopping, we have international retailers here and KL is certainly a city that never sleeps. We have really happening clubs, we have clubs that plays all kinds of music, we have karaoke, you can party all the way to the wee hours in the morning. In KL, I feel really, really free. I feel that I can be anyone I want to be. Go out and have a good night out with my friends, eat anything and everything that I want. At practically every corner, you can find not only food, but really, really good food. KL to me is home. You can find anything and everything that you can find. My absolute favorite city in the world, Kuala Lumpur. Light is so exciting, symbolizing the success of our nation. Center for business in the streets and trades, ranging from the small right to the great. Achievements and remarks, we are all proud of. You're shining on the top of the world.